Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner with Amir Sadala. He was the Ultimate Fighter Season 7 winner. Tell us, Amir, what are you looking forward to, to most tonight here at the 2012 World MMA Awards? I just thought of something inappropriate, but I think you should know I didn't say it. Uh, <laughs> This, uh, this show is always really fun. Uh, it's really well put together, and uh, you know, it's always uh, it's always cool to see our sport kind of get its own awards. And uh, yeah, it's always, I always, uh, always enjoy myself. So I'm looking forward to uh, you know everyone all dressed up and on in work attire, and uh, you know just kind of having fun formally. Awesome. Now I know you had the last fight there with Dan Hardy. Didn't work out as planned. Do you have something coming up coming in 2013? Waiting to find out. Hopefully, uh, you know, I'll know soon. But um, yeah, just. For now, just uh, kind of working on things, and uh, but yeah, just waiting to find out, and hopefully I'll know soon. Anything particular, maybe like, or any one particular rather that you'd like to face in the octagon this year? Oh, uh, the whole roster. <laughs> I, I wish I wish we could have an entire uh, uh, weight class tournament. I think uh, I wish we could do that. <laughs> but yeah, whoever the, all, uh, all the fights are, uh, I'm happy to have. So. You were on The Ultimate Fighter, and this year they're coming out on a new day. It kind of looks like it has a new edgier type of feel to it, the way the artwork and some of the promotions I've seen look. What are your thoughts on this upcoming season and maybe what they're doing to refresh The Ultimate Fighter? They've really struggled since Season 7 to kind of retouch on how good that season was. You know, really, you know, like, can you make a... Can you make like a uh, Forrest Gump too? You shouldn't, but you could try. They're trying. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think the show, that, that kind of comes up a lot. Uh, people ask, oh, is the format dated? But you know what? The format works. It's a good idea. It's, uh, it shows you some guys, and uh, you get to see them fight, and you get to know a little bit about them. So uh, I think it serves an important purpose. But, you know, if they're changing things up, I think it'll definitely be a good thing. Now, where are you training these days? Are you still based out here in Las Vegas, I think? Yeah, yeah. I live here, and uh, I trained at Extreme Couture, and, uh, yeah. Well, that team, uh, you're working with Jay Heron at all for his upcoming fight with Tyron Woodley? Yes, uh, uh, Woodley. Yeah. Did they change that? Oh, yeah, they did. What? It was Eric Silva. Silva got hurt, and now it's going to be Tyron. Oh, so out of the loop yeah. I am. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, Last week, I think. Okay. Well, I was a relevant training partner for Eric Silva, but probably not so much for this fight. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I always train with Jay and uh, Mike Piles there, and just all, just so many talented guys in and out of Extreme Couture. So it's, uh, it's, uh, I always I enjoy being there. And I saw Martin Kempman. He's up for International Fighter of the Year. How awesome do you think that is? Is he? Yeah. Sounds like a category they made up for Martin Kempman. I, I mean, think, I think so. They're like Denmark. Yeah, we got to get some awards. Yeah, it's all it's all set up. <laughs> well, Amir, we wish you all the best in 2013 and enjoy yourself tonight. Thank you. Very much. Thank you.